Welcome to the Aviation with Elliot channel. Now in today's video, if you want to find out how to quickly import your flight plans via SimBrief into the sim, then this video is for you. Now just be aware that this, as far as I know, does require a Navigraph subscription, the same one that you use for Flight Sim 2020, X-Plane, etc. Um, but that will be required for this video and to import your flight plans into the simulator. Let's get into it. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. I do apologise for the music, um, but if you have a Navigraph subscription, this will make your whole life a whole lot easier in terms of importing it into um, Steam, etc. Getting your Simbri flight plan. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to come down to the MS First 2024 options. I'm just going to go through and install all of this. Now the primary ones are going to be the in-game panel, the FB charts for what we want today. But I'm just going to go and install everything. And after this you're going to want to start up or restart your flight simulator to install the add-on. Okay, so we're now back into Microsoft Flight Simulator and <laughs> I've turned down that music, so hopefully this works. I'm going to go to free flight or however you um, want to operate the game mode. Go to our EFB, we're going to click on this, uh, these nine dots, I hope my mouse is right. Simbrief Dispatch, um, here it's going to ask you to sign in your Navigraph account. It's going to be navgraph.com slash code, type it into your web browser, then type in the code it gives you. And press allow and join or whatever it is, and it will automatically sign you in, sign you in your Simbrief username. Um, create new flight plan, etc. This is probably how I would do it. So we're just going to make a flight. Um, the bare minimum information you need is departure arrival and the aircraft type. Of course, I'm not flying the Antonov. Well, that's not the Antonov. A300, I think. Um, after this, we're going to click generate up here. And after generate, all we're going to do is click import routes and it's just going to load in. It doesn't take long at all. And we can already see behind us that our flight plan has imported. And it is literally as simple as that. It's pretty amazing. And as you can see here, if we go over to our location, all of our IFR waypoints have automatically been plotted in and this will save you a ton of time in the future. For more content, please do subscribe and watch the uh, rest of my videos to improve your 2024 and 2020 flight simulator experience. And I will see you in the next one.